Yo, what's happening? It's Jay Hamilton touching down with you. I'm up a little late. I was having a little technical difficulty. I was trying to get this video going. Uh, shout out to Jackie on the NPC software users page on Facebook. Uh, he asked me a question about how to do the warp feature. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it on the NPC software 2.0. So right here, I just got this drum. I just did a little drum pattern here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, my main BPM right here is 87. So I got this one loop loaded up already. It's this. Um, I'm going to play it for you. Um, so basically, um, you can detect, you can detect the BPM. It's a de detect button right here. You can find out what the BPM is. You hit detect. It already knows that this uh, loop is 90 beats per minute. But say if you had something that you loaded in here and didn't know what the BPM is, you can use this BPM detect feature and you should be able to figure it out from there. There's other ways too. You know, there's other ways you could probably figure out the BPMs, but that's the easiest one. Uh, this loop already has the BPM named on it, so it's easy. But say if you're sampling from records, you know, what I like to do is I like to loop stuff perfectly and then I can figure out what the BPM is once I do the, the detect right there that I just showed you. So anyway, so we know the BPM and that's key, knowing what the BPM is. So right now we're going to go back to the main screen here. Um, I got uh, that loop assigned to this pad right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just I'm going to record something. Let's see. So. So obviously you could tell it's not it's not on point. So what you want to do is you want to go to wave mode. And this is the key here. Like making sure that whatever the BPM that of your sample is, you want to make sure it's in here. Usually with the BPM BPM detect, it puts it in here automatically. But say if it didn't, then you can just manually put it in here. Because right now I'm doing this on beta. I did install the new software that Akai just released. That's for ninety nine dollars. That you know everybody anybody can use it now. Like the MPC Renaissance users, MPC Studio, you can use it. But the one thing that I noticed was that you couldn't edit the BPM from the actual software you know you had to do it from the controller and i i don't know why kai omitted that out but if you can bring that back that would be great i don't know if it's a bug or whatever but i went ahead and uninstalled the software and put the beta back on because uh i didn't like that um but it's a few new features it's a few new things that i did like on the new software i'm just hoping that akai fixes those little things but aside from that the warp feature still works and everything so even if you don't care about that that's just my little pet peeve there but aside from that it, everything works the same so what i'm going to show you here is you have warp right here so what you want to do is you want to select that and it'll automatically stretch the sample to the bpm of your tempo or whatever it is so And you can also you can change the so you can pitch it real time. Sure, this is uh, yeah now one thing you want to make sure and when you're using warp mode and npc software is definitely set your uh if you go into preferences go to other and make sure that audio warp algorithm is set selected to elastic pro you need that man that's like the best one to use because it gives you the best sounding uh time stretching so it won't sound all distorted or degraded actually it keeps it keeps the integrity of the sample, so you definitely want to make sure it's 
you got that set up. So I just wanted to show you that. But yeah, so that's just how you do it with a loop. I'm going to show you how you can do it when you chop your samples up. So let's go back to sample edit. So right here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take that same sample. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to chop it up. So you can do it any kind of way you want. You can chop it, you know, do the lazy chop. You can put it in manually. You can do threshold. You can do regions. It doesn't really matter. It'll all work. Um, so the same principle applies like you did with just a loop. You know, you definitely need to know the BPM of the sample. So, so far we know the BPM is still 90. So what I did is I just put it in regions, you know. Um, so what you do is you hit shift. Let me see. Let me put this mic down. Hit shift. Now, the key here with this is you want to make sure that pad parameters right here is selected. Not non-destructive slice, but pad parameters. You want to make sure it converts to new drum program using slices and pad parameters. You know, it's, it got other ones here, but this is what you want. New drum program using slices and slice type pad parameters. And this is the best way to do it when you're using warp mode. So definitely hit do it. Bam. So I think I've done this already, but, you know. All right. So we got the, I had to go and load that up that I just converted. So now it's a new program. All right. So let me make sure because I might have a. All right, so now we got that loaded up. So, uh, so right here, notice that the BPM is not there. So, and maybe me chopping it up, uh, you know, it's just like, okay, I don't know what the BPM is now. So, but the key here is, since you have all these are chopped separately, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go to Program Edit. You want to make sure that this is selected, Edit Zones. And you want to make sure in edit zones that not current, but all, all the pads are selected. So when you have all the pads selected, once you are able to do those changes inside of this wave here, it'll affect each pad. So you don't have to go and just do each pad separately. It'll just do all the pads all at the same time, which is important. Um, and you'll see as I'm going along. So from there, okay, you want to put the BPM in here. So this 90, bam. So you got the BPM in there, and now you want to hit uh, warp, and it'll be able to. So, you know, it, everything is in sync with your BPM now. So if you. So yeah, so there you go. You got, and you can still control the, the tempo. And you can still alter the actual, the pitch. 